Hi guys, Corey Scott here once again, March Madness edition, that's right, just this past weekend, man, there were just a whole slew of games, um, including um, a really good UCLA, UCLA, I should say, uh, team, and uh, which got me to thinking about the great coach, John Wooden himself, the Wizard of Westwood. And one of the things that John Wooden said was this. He said, if you don't have time to do things right, when will you have time to do it over? And it got me to thinking a little bit, you know, there are so many times over the years to where I've talked to people and we've talked a little bit about their case or their perspective case and I don't hear anything back from him anymore. And then sometimes, maybe months later, phone rings. I pick up the phone, and lo and behold, it's that person on the other end of the line saying, Mr. Scott, hey, this is so-and-so. I talked to you probably two or three months ago, and I didn't hire you, but I went ahead and tried to do the thing myself, only to tell me that they tried to do it themselves, jacked it up, and now they are worse off than they were when we first talked. And now, of course, they want to place all of that mess in my hands and have me, you know, play cleanup. This is my point to you today. When you think about trying to represent yourself, trying to handle something yourself, and even just trying to, you know, hire the, the cheapest person, I guess, to do it, even if you're trying to get an attorney on it, you really have to think about what John Wooden said. If you don't have time to do it right, or if you don't know how to do it right, more importantly in this context, when will you have time to do it over? And how much will it actually cost you, especially once you've already jacked it up? Why not just start and put your problem into a problem solver's hands in the first place and let them start the thing off right and then hopefully you can reach a better ending.